Welcome back to Big Board. So let's have a look at Greif or Grief One, December nineteenth, nineteen forty-four, outside of Mordechai in Belgium. And the idea here is that we are um, exploring and playing with the German forces who are approaching and disguised as Americans. <clears throat> Obviously, we're using German counters. And the scenario specific rule is uh, designed to keep these guys all in place until such time that they, uh, such time that they, uh, what am I trying to say here? As they recognize that the Germans are indeed Germans and not Americans. So I imagine there'll be a few baseball questions and World Series questions. And uh, was there a Super Bowl back then? I don't think there was. So anyway, we'll uh, we'll see what happens with that. Uh, it's an interesting setup. The victory conditions are quite simple. It is uh, capture this hex and capture this hex. Three VPs for each. You have to be in complete control. Uh, if uh, control is contested, i.e. In a, under a Malay counter of some type, then it doesn't count. So what this means is uh, to play for the draw, all the Americans need to do is keep one of these hexes. They'll get three VPs. And the Germans will, if they capture one, will get three VPs. Ideally, uh, Keeping both would be perfect, but we have a very limited number of forces, so I've got a reduced squad here. I've got a lieutenant and a full squad and a medium machine gun here in this house, uh, protecting this little crossroad. <clears throat> and I've got a half squad with a bazooka here and a M, uh, M1 gun, AT gun here. And they're a... Uh, I think it's like a 57 millimeter or something like that, a weapon. So it, it's going to give this uh, panther up here a run for its money. In fact, I'm probably going to need to grab the panther card, but we'll worry about that later. So I decided since there's only, I think, five or six turns in this year, five turns in this game, one, two, three, four, five, well, six turns in this game, really, that to you know, force the Germans to close and then try and uh, use my limited firepower to uh, slow them down a little bit as they come in close. I've got my AT gun sort of set back. So I've got a shot up the road if I, if I can get it. A shot uh, along this axis along here. I'm gonna leave the flank somewhat exposed and then this half squad might have an opportunity to either close assault or get a bazooka shot off at something coming down this road. <clears throat> There's a stone wall here for a little bit of defense from that flank. And who knows what will happen. So that's my initial impression of, of how I might want to set up for the Allies. Uh, this is the edge of the map right here. Uh, in fact, that's the limit of the map from here to here. I think it's K-22, something like that. K is it K-22? Yes, K-22, across to the edge of the map. Now, for the, for the German player, it's interesting. You know, these are guys from the 150 Pan, 150th Panzer Brigade. So they have, uh, let's see, they've got a, a two M3A1 trucks, a Jeep, and a, 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 what is it, a Panzer V, disguised as a, uh, I think it's disguised as like a Hellcat or something like that. So I was thinking that my approach here might be to split the forces up and that way we'll keep the Americans locked in position. So initially with this squad in the truck, we will, I've got the trucks all pointed the wrong way, but you get the general, general gist of things. Uh, <clears throat> We'll come on down uh, down the road. Well, we'll come on down here to the road. Come into town. Depending on where and when we're spotted and uh, exposed as being uh, a subterfuge, we'll you know deposit ourselves in a building. Look to suppress perhaps 
this unit here with this squad bring this force in for some heavy firepower there's pioneers and a jeep with 50 cal and a, and a tank bring them in down this road and find some opportune place maybe here for instance to put suppressive fire on this hex here with the view that uh, Berger, Lieutenant Berger and his squad of pioneers will try and cross the open field or, or get dropped off a little closer, who knows. Maybe we'll bring the tank in for close assault, something of that nature. Then the, uh, the icing on the cake, the, the insurance package is these guys uh, with the Panzerfaust, Sergeant Born, Bolm, and a squad <clears throat> in a truck they will attempt not to get bogged down and come along the edge of the map and come into town from here on along this road. And that might force this guy to reorient himself, uh, then freeing up my uh, tank to advance, or he'll stay locked uh, on the tank, hoping that he will get a shot on the tank, in which case the, the Americans may have to adjust. And this way, while this might take a little while, this way it gives me an opportunity to get access to both of these hexes at the same, almost at the same time. I think I'll probably have to do a little bit of coordinating, but I think that might be a jolly good fun thing to do. Now, obviously with the OST system, everything is going to depend on, <coughs> excuse me, is going to depend on how many impulse points you get per turn. And that's going to drive the, the cadence of the battle uh, to a significant degree. So that's my plan for both sides. Tune in and see what happens next. Later, fellas, boys, girls, and others. Ciao.